Hello everyone and welcome to another Trek Eye video and today we are using this GTR Nismo from 2018 at Red Bull Rink. So the tire of choice or not really of choice, the mandatory tires for this one are racing soft tires. Although in the race you have to use the racing mediums as well as the racing softs. So guys, that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's get going. And starting with the track guide, and I usually come out of the last turn in third gear and quickly <laughs> upshift into fourth. There we go, so guys. the first breaking point is just at about 100 meter sign. It's usually this line that I like to take. I mean, it's quite visible. So I would say a little bit before the line, you break, break in the straight line until you see those marks getting into the turn. And two tires must stay over the curb. So over this one. And in this one so you can pretty much say that two tires must always touch the surface of the track I mean two tires can stay on the curb and two tires must stay Just on the track otherwise you will get a penalty so. and it will affect your lap time and you'll probably even spin out in some cases and now once again it's the 100 meter sign or you might even use this line I usually use the line it's quite it's quite better it's more visible in a way and this one i try to break in the straight line and this is where i actually try to turn in slightly so not a lot of turning but you're actually turning a little bit and then a little bit later you're going in first gear up shifting quickly into second and you want to get about 50 60 percent of the power and the car usually doesn't slide at about 50 60 if you go over it the car will slide so usually in slower turns you need to keep it at about 50 60 range but here it's a little bit of a different story it's kind of a i would say a different approach but okay we're looking at 100 once again slightly turning at about a 50 you can follow these tire marks but start turning at about a 50 not much a little bit you need to hang into the inside of this curb up shift into third and hold it at about 75 80 percent so previously it was about 50 60 now it's 75 to maybe 80 this way you will get the speed out of the turn and the car will not slide out but here it's kind of breaking at about 75 i think you can break a little bit later than what i did now i didn't really get the right line i could have got a little bit of a wider line i mean i think it a little bit affected my lap but not that much and as soon as I can see that mark on the curb I started to accelerate even a little bit sooner I already know that it's about 60% into the turn but if you really need a reference that's it as well as this one so here I'm breaking at about 50-60% ideal would be about 60 but I broke at about 50-55 and then a little tap on the brakes nothing too much and you need to get to the inside of this curb so you can accelerate so the curbs, I mean, on these tracks are a must. So if you miss the curb, if you miss the entry, I mean, your lap times are going to be much, much slower and you're not going to be able to carry the speed. But here, this is my reference in between the 100 and the 50. This is pretty much only thing that I have and it's quite accurate at about 50, 60 percent on the brakes. You don't want to hold on to the brakes too long. Otherwise, the car will slow down and you will not be able to carry the speed. So this is absolutely crucial in this whole section. When I see those little yellow marks, just in front of me about 50 percent a little bit of trail braking let the car go because if you stay on the brakes the car will understeer and you will lose once again a lot of time i lost a bit of time in this final section it could have been a little bit better but in the end the 28.7 i think it was a pretty decent lap time to make a guide and to eventually show you how the lab should look like so guys i hope you enjoyed <laughs> on this one and if you did you can there always go, hit the like button or you might even want to subscribe to the channel so yeah, that's pretty much it for today, and yeah, until the next time, bye! Yeah. Just as I said, a bit of luck it does help.